As we age, most people experience changes to the speed at which they process new information and how they are able to focus their attention. These changes happen gradually over time and we usually start becoming aware of them in our 50s and 60s. Sometimes it is a problem finding the right word and other times it is walking into a room and forgetting what you went in there for. But other more serious problems like dementia and mild cognitive impairment start changing how we do some of our daily tasks. For example, people with these conditions may start having difficulty with complex day-to-day -day tasks such as driving, preparing meals, and managing their finances. So how do we avoid dementia? There isn't a foolproof way to do it, but we know that there are some things that may decrease your risk. The best way to think about it is what is good for your heart is what is good for your brain. Being careful to work with your primary care provider on how to keep your blood pressure and cholesterol well managed is important. However, if you have other conditions like sleep apnea or diabetes, these can pose a significant burden on the brain and need to be very well managed. Hearing loss in later life is another important condition to keep an eye on. Left unchecked, there is some indication that it can contribute to memory loss. The things we do in our day-to-day -day life may also play a role. For example, if we are too sedentary and are not meeting with other people and getting some exercise, this may increase our risk for dementia. Now this doesn't mean you have to go be a social butterfly or become a gym rat. Instead, work with your primary care provider to figure out a healthy exercise routine. Further, think about some activities you've always wanted to do and consider starting a new hobby. Change is hard though. Try not to make these changes in one day or one month. Instead, you can also work with a psychologist or social worker in your primary care provider's office on how to make these changes and more importantly, how to make them stick. If you can do that, you may truly be able to reduce your risk of dementia.